can just take exact image in his head. Yeah. So if you meet him a year later, he should be able to remember you and remember the time where uh, he said the salam before he met you. This is not the case. So if you're walking in the, uh, in the mall and uh, your wife, a friend told you, uh, please say salamu alaikum to your wife. Now if you come back home, make sure when you told your wife, your friend say salamu alaikum. If you do remember her name, don't give any description. <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> so if she told you it's your friend, you don't say the tall and the skinny and the blue eye and the red. You don't say that. Otherwise, you're dead. <laughs> so to be on the safe side, you say what? I can't remember her name. Just she, she were walking by and said, Salam alaikum. I can't remember her name. So if you're driving a car with your wife <coughs> and your wife told you, honey, who's more beautiful, me or that lady? So what your answer would be? What lady? Simple. She is the most beautiful. No. My wife. You're dead. No. My wife what is lady? the most beautiful. No. If you say you, so she said, Sue, ah, Sue, so you were staring at her then. Oh. <laughs> oh. And if you say her, you're dead. So you say, what lady? What lady? I can't see no one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I can't see no one. So you don't give any description, <laughs> otherwise you're dead. So this is not the case with the Arabs, subhanAllah So please remember this, you drive with your wife, your wife told you who's more beautiful, me or that lady, say what lady? You don't say you or her, if you say her, you end up in a shelter. And you say you, she would say, you know, you were staring at her then. How do you know that I'm more beautiful than her? So remember that the uh, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam عندma hajar Muhammad Kamuni has a fault عندma hajar the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam تعرفون ومر في خيمة إما معبد when the Prophet uh, 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 when the Prophet of uh, Allah left Mecca and his way to the Medina he came uh, he brought, uh, passed across the, the tent of Ummu Ma'bad he was an old lady yeah. who lived in the desert her and her husband so of course, his, uh, his, uh, her husband went to the valley to uh, and take, took all the, the, the sheep and the camel with him. And he left behind a very skinny and a few, few sheep. They had no strength to, to join the flock. Right? So they, they were left behind. So the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of course, uh, said, Assalamu Alaikum to Imam Ma'bad. Do you have anything to offer? Remember, the, the traveler, the Arab, they must offer the traveler their share. So you cannot say, no, I don't have nothing. Even if you have a piece of bread, you're going to give him that piece of bread. فَقَالَتْ أُمُّ مَعْبَدْ قَالَتْ أُمُّ مَعْبَدْ وَاللَّهِ مَا عِنْدِي إِلَّا هَذِهِ الْعُنَيْزَةِ I only have this, the very skinny uh, uh, sheep that were left behind. So please help yourself. If you can milk anything, it's all yours. Now we're gonna we're gonna uh, go through Arabic first, and, uh, and please pay attention to you, especially, especially those who speak Arabic first. You need to pay attention. There is a quiz after they finish the Arabic uh, Arabic session. قال فما لبث حتى جاء زوجها أبو أبو معبد يسوق أعنزا عجافا يتساوكنا هزلا محهن قليل فلما رأى أبو معبد اللبن عجب وقال من أين لك هذا اللبن يا أم معبد والشات عازب الحيال ولا حلوبة في البيت قالت والله إنه مر بنا رجل مبارك من حاله كذا وكذا. So when Abu Muhammad came back home, so he found some milk in there. So he asked Abu Muhammad, where do you got that milk from? So Abu Muhammad, of course, she told him the story. But here's the uh, how the the, the quiz began. Abu Muhammad, Abu Muhammad, her husband told him, describe him to me. Remember when he told you in the Arab how they used to take a deep look? If Ummu Ma'bad will be your wife nowadays, she will be divorced if she gives this de 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 description <laughs> to you. If she look at the friend, uh, your friend and, and give you at the end of that meeting that's this description, she will be divorced with one, or with one eye. Anyway. قَالَ صُفِيهِ لِي قَالَتْ 
رأيت رجلا راهرا وضاء أبلج الوجه حسن الخلق لم تعبه نحلة ولم تزر به صعلة وسيم في عينيه دعج وفي أشفاره وطف وفي صوته صهل وفي صوته صهل وفي عنقه سطع وفي لحيته كثافة أزج أقرا إن صمت فعليه الوقار وإن تكلم سما وعلاه البهاء أجمل الناس وأبهاهم من بعيد وأحلاهم وأحسنهم من قريب حلو المنطق فصل لا هذر ولا نصر كأن منطقه خرزات نظم يتحدر ربع لا بأس من طول ولا تقتحمه العين من قصر غصن بين غصنين فهو أنظر الثلاثة منظرا وأحسنهم قدرا له رفقاء يحفون به إن قال استمعوا لقوله وإن أمر تبادروا إلى أمره محفود محشود لا عابس ولا مفند حدا منكم فيهم شيء؟ إذا برعور بالله ولا أنا ما فهمنا شيء So when Abu Ma'am, Abu Ma'am told Abu Ma'am, describe him to me. Why am I picking this chapter? Many people, they say, oh, Shaykh, I saw the Prophet of Allah in my dream. Many people, they claim that they saw the Prophet of Allah. And uh, <laughs> subhanAllah, and they, 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 they really believe that they saw the Prophet of Allah and the Prophet of Allah gave them uh, an order or told them to do something, right? So when they wake up, they go to the Imam to explain this scene or that dream. First thing, first of all, how do you know that you saw the Prophet of Allah? How do you know? You so know. if you woke up in the morning claiming that you, were, you saw the Prophet of Allah, Feeling. how do you know that was the Prophet of Allah? He's feeling some something. No. Not close. You have to see the Prophet of Allah in your dream with a description which was recorded in the Sunnah book. So that's what we get benefit now. I'm going to go with the description of the Prophet of Allah. And now keep it in your mind. If you saw the Prophet of Allah with one of those descriptions, that means you saw the Prophet of Allah. Let's go. <coughs> one by one. قالت رأيت رجلا ظاهر الوضاء ظاهر الوضاء من ظاهر الجمال. He's a beautiful man, very handsome man. Let's know. Uh, so if very handsome man. أبلج الوجه مشرق الوجه مضي. His face is full of noor. So now, if you saw a man in your dream. With a dark skin, telling you I'm the Prophet of Allah. Quickly, you know, in the back of your head, no, this is not the description of the Prophet of Allah. Mm -hmm. Because the Prophet of Allah, his face is full of nur. That means this is light, mm -hmm. not a dark skin. Quickly, you know that shaitan is messing you up. The shaitan is messing you up. Because some people, they say, well, the Prophet of Allah told me to, uh, whatever, uh, to travel or to divorce my wife or to ban my son, whatever, some, some, some dream. Hasan has, al-Khuluq, has no, is, you got a good, good manner. So if someone wake up and they're like, wake up, wake up, I'm the Prophet of Allah, you know this is not the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet of Allah, you know, some good manner. So, لم تعبه نحلة. He's not very skinny, nor is he fat. So is that fat or skinny? Right in between. Now if you saw Imam talking to you on the Prophet of Allah and this is this big, because that's happened to me. Wallahi, that's happened to me. Once I, I saw a dream, but subhanAllah, when I woke up quickly, I knew that it's not the Prophet of Allah because it was completely different description. It was recorded in the Sunnah. وَلَمْ تُزْرِ بِهِ صَعْلَةِ صَعْلَةِ that means his head not that big nor that small. So just in between his head. وَسِيمْ Beautiful. 
في عينيه دعج. The colors of his eyes. The black is pitch black and the white is pure white. It's not a brown eyes, not a blue eyes. <laughs> so if you saw a man with the blue eyes, quickly you know though. No. Probably Jesus. Huh? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? So the, the, the black is pitch black, not a brown. Very, very dark, uh, very dark black. And the white around it, very bright white. That's the عينيه دعجن. وفي أشفاره وطفل. His eyelashes very long. The eyelashes very long. وفي أشفاره وطفل. وفي صوته سهل بحة سعدونا أخوانا شو البحة بالإنجليزي؟ الأكو. No, not echo. No, it's. Uh... It's not his his sound is not. Uh, you know that's. It's not deep. Soothing sound. Some people say that. Echo? I heard Shaykh say it's echo. Vocals. Why for sure I didn't please him? Echo Sada. Uh, his neck is very long. Got a not long neck. So that means his chin is not touching his top. <laughs> So his neck, his neck is very long. So when he speak, his his chin does not touch the top of his chest. وفي حياته كثافة. His beard is very thick. Very thick. Yes. أزج أقرن. أزج that means his eyebrow very thin. Not a thick one. Alright. أقرن unibrow. Unibrow. They're connected together. Mosulina Ba'un. Mosulina Ba'un. Unibrow. That's what they said, right? Unibrow. So they, they're, they're connected together. So if you ship it in San, Hawaj Bu Mosulin, they're disconnected from each other, you know, this is not the problem of Allah. Thin brow, eyebrow, and unibrow. Thin and unibrow. When Samata Fa'alayhi al Waqar, when he's speaking, he is very respectful. When Takalam, you only pick the best of words. When Takalam at Sama, when he speak, he actually rise his body and he speak. So, Baha is hoarseness voice. Hoarseness voice? So his that hoarseness voice, that's a Baha, that's the Arabic Baha. It's not very, very thin sound or not, subhanAllah. So, when he speak, he rises his body up and he speak. I mean, if you saw a man lying down on the couch talking to you and giving you order on the Prophet of Allah, you know, though, that's can't be it. Because the Prophet of Allah, when he speak, he used to sit and rise his body up and he speak or he give the order to, to those who are surrounding him. أجمل الناس وأبهاهم من بعيد. He's the most beautiful man, whether he's far or close. You can notify the power of Allah. حلو المنطق فصل لا هدرة ولا نزر. لا هدرة ولا نزر. That means he does not speak too much, and he does not keep it quiet. He only speak when it's necessary for him to speak. There are some people, Subhanallah, when they begin to talk, they just talk all night long. This is not the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah. <laughs> so this is not the problem of Allah. وَلَا نَزَرْ كَأَنَّ مَنْطِقَهُ خَرَزَاتِ نَظْمٍ يَتَحَدَّرٌ رَبْعٌ لَيْسَ بِالْقَصِيرِ is not tall, nor is short. وَلَا تَقْتَحِبُهُ الْعَيْنُ مِنْ قِصَرٌ غُصْنٌ بَيْنَ غُصْنَيْنِ He's a branch between the two. There's a three branch, he was the middle one. أحسنهم قبر. He's the the most respectful man. له رفقاء got some companions. They listen to his speech and they fulfill his commandment. محفوظ محفوظ مخدوم. That means people he people actually compete to serve him. They compete with each other to serve him. محفوظ محشود يجتمع الناس إليه. People they gather themselves to sit with him. محشود. لا عابس 
ولا مفند لا عابس يعني ولا مفند ليس عابش الوجه الوجه he doesn't have that serious look ولا مفند he is very respectful man there are some people in order to avoid that serious look they begin to سبحان الله to make jokes and they joke over anything with or the worthless thing so this is not very good thing in the Arab in the Arab behavior they said when you when you laugh too much when you give too many jokes you're not very respectful man we know about Darda, may Allah Azza wa Jalla be pleased with him. He used to, uh, when to men, uh, he used to, uh, whenever he mentioned the hadith of the Prophet of Allah, is the door locked? Whenever he mentioned the hadith of the Prophet of Allah, he used to smile. So they told him, you're going to lose your respect. People, they, they will quit to respect you because you are mentioned the hadith of the Prophet of Allah. The hadith of the Prophet of Allah is a statement of the Prophet of Allah. So while you are mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet of Allah, you're laughing or smiling. So basically you show no respect to the statement of the Prophet of Allah. تَقَالَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْ وَاللَّهِ مَا تَبَسَّنْتُ إِلَّا لِأَنِّي رَأَيْتُ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم يتبسم حين قال هذا الحديث By Allah, I only smile because I saw the Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jal smile when he mentioned this hadith. So basically he followed the footsteps of the Prophet of Allah. He used to copy the Prophet of Allah, the way how, they, the way how he speak, the way how he give the statement, the way how he sit, the way how he sleep. So this is, this is the sunnah. So now you know the description of the Prophet of Allah. Um, let's go, uh, uh, go uh, uh, over it quick. Ablaj al I mean light skin, white skin, full of nur. Hassan al Mam Ta'abhu Nuhla, he's not very skinny, nor does he uh, fat. Wala tujribihi sa'la, his head is not too big, nor is he small. Wasim, wa fi aynayhi da'jun, that means the color of his eye, the black is pitch black, and the white, very white, uh, very bright white. Wa fi ashfarihi watfun, his eyelashes is very long. Wa fi sawtihi sa'un, horse what? Horse's voice. Horse's voice. Wa fi unuqihi sa'un, his neck is very long, not too long, but it is a uh, fair size. Wa fi rhiyatihi kathada, very, uh, very thick, very thick uh, uh, beard. Azajju Aqan, the, uh, the, his eyebrow is very thin and their unique brow, they're connected to, uh, to, uh, to each other. Uh, that, um, he does not speak too much, nor um, he keeps silence, so only give the order whenever it's necessary to give the order. Uh, same thing, he's not that tall, he's not that, that short. Mahfud, uh, people, uh, what's in Mahfud? Mahfud, Mahdoum, people they compete to. To serve him, Mahshur, people that gather themselves around him, they loved his speech, they love his gathering, they love his, uh, his company. La Abbas doesn't have that serious look. Wala Mufannad, nor does he, uh, he joke uh, for, over the worst of things. Wallahu ta'ala alam. So now you, you, can, you can give the fatwa, insha'Allah. Uh, go ahead. Does Shaitan imitate Rasulullah uh, sallallahu in dream? What's that? Does Shaitan appear? In a dream, like uh, Does he imitate? Does he imitate? Does he imitate the character? Does the shaitan imitate? Uh, that doesn't. If you saw the Prophet of Allah with this description, with this description, the shaitan cannot copy the Prophet of Allah with this description. No way. With this description, whatever that we mentioned, the shaitan cannot copy it. No way. And that's the hadith in the shaitan. لا يتمثل في من رآني في المنام من رآني with this whoever saw me in his dream with this description. That means he truly saw me. But when you see a man with different description, we cannot say that we saw the Prophet of Allah. We cannot make the fact of Allah Taala. Go ahead. If somebody lie, sing. Oh, هذا شيء خطير. Those who lie about the dreams. Who is shaitan? Uh, next session, shall we? <laughs> 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 <laughs>